Hello everybody, how you been doing today? Today we're going to learn how to create a vector mask in Photoshop CS6. Now a vector mask is a resolution independent object which means that you can resize it and move it, move the points around and everything and it's going to stay the same resolution. That's the greatness of vectors. You can scale up or scale down and not lose resolution. Vector masks are created with a pen tool or a shape tool. So we're, when you try to use like a paintbrush or anything like that, or a selection, those are for layer masks and the pen tools and the uh, shape tools are for vector masks. So let's get started. Load up any image and turn that image into a layer. Go ahead and select your shape tool and bring it down to the custom shape tool or you could select any of these other tools as well but custom shape tool is cooler and you want to make sure that this is set to path and not shape go ahead and pick from any of the shapes that you have and if you don't have a whole lot of shapes in here already just go to the little gear here for the options and just click on all and that'll load in all of them for you. So go ahead and pick something that you think looks cool and let's take the yin yang here. I haven't seen one of those in a long time since I was in like second grade. We're all obsessed with them on our like pogs and stuff like that. But anyways, so go ahead and drag out your shape which is now using path and not shape. So hold shift to constrain it, drag it out and you can see that there's a lines going on here. Now we've ju just got a path going on here, but we want to make it into a mask. If I click on the add uh, mask button here, it's just going to create a layer mask and that's not what I want. So control Z to get that off. What you need to do is you need to hold down control and then click on the layer mask. Now it creates a vector mask for you and you can see how uh, that works going on here. So go ahead and um, go to the left of your sh custom shape tool here and click on the pointer here and we've got the path selection tool and direct selection tool. Now if I click on the actual mask here but on the image you can see that there's different points and you are able to adjust any of these points however you want to affect the mask and uh, customize your mask. Make sure that you have the mask layer selected or nothing's gonna happen. Oops, just, just select it once. And we're gonna go to the direct selection tool. Click on an edge and you can see that the points are here. Now if you drag like on an edge here, you are changing the way that your mask looks but you're keeping the same resolution and everything like that. Uh, if I wanted to select all of them, you can go ahead and drag and then maybe just, you can drag it and move it around like that. If I select and um, can move anything, you can use these edges here to change the way that your curve is working on your mask. Now remember that I said that um, when you're using a vector, you don't have to worry about resolution and all that. So what you can do is go ahead and select the move tool, hit control T so that you can resize your image and go ahead and either scale it up or scale it down and you can go ahead and hit enter and you can see that along the edges no resolutions lost. So that's one of the good things about using a vector mask over a layer mask. So that's it that I wanted to show you about creating a vector mask. And in the next tutorial, I'll show you how to modify it up a little bit, um, a little bit more than I already showed you. So keep tuned uh, for that next tutorial. And I hope um, you guys have a good day then. So see you guys later.